Hey babes, in this video I'm going to be doing another tutorial and this is the Katy Perry Dark Horse music video inspired makeup tutorial and I love this look, I just had to do it and it's got a very Egyptian style and it's very dramatic so it's very me so I had to do it I love the song, I love the video and I love the makeup in the video as well I've been listening to it before doing this video I'm sorry guys for not uploading a video in like almost two weeks so in the next two to three weeks I will have a Monday video which is my normal scheduled upload date but I will also have a Friday bonus video for you guys so you're gonna have two videos every week in the next few weeks so look out for that and it's gonna be a lot of fun videos and other than that enjoy the tutorial darlings using my Anastasia brow pro palette I'm just gonna be filling in my eyebrows using the shade in ebony I'm using the lightest shade from that duo and on the scene that I'm replicating this out of she has black hair so I'm gonna draw on quite thick and dark eyebrows and then I'm going to be using my OCC Skin Conceal in Y1 and apply that right underneath the brow to define that and to highlight it and this is going to clean that brow up and I'm also going to apply that all over the lid as a base for the eyeshadow it's a really pale concealer so that's why I'm going to apply that as a base because that's going to make the shadow really grab onto the lid and of course, blend this in. Now the first eyeshadow I'm taking is MUA's shade 18, which is a lilac, and I'm just applying that into the crease. And I'm using my MAC 217 to do this. I just got a MAC 217 like a week ago. I'm quite excited to use it because this is my first MAC legit 217. Brush! Now for the Liz, I'm applying L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Sahara Treasure, which is a pale gold, and this is gonna be the base color for the glitter, and I'm kind of etching out my eyeliner shape on the edges as well. See where I'm gonna go. Now with ELF's Brightening Eye Color Quad in Punk Funk, I'm just going to be applying the bright purple shade right onto the outer corner of the lids. I'm just packing that onto the lid for a bright opaque finish. And again, I'm sort of etching out where I want my eyeliner to go. Now I'm going to do the eyeliner. First I'm just going to draw a thick winged liner look on the top lash line. This is like really complicated. You want to go all the way out with this wing. And you want to etch out the crease. You want to go thicker from the outer corner of the crease. And gradually go thinner into the inner corner. This is the hardest part, getting it even. So, um, just keep looking back at a mirror from far away. And just keep working on it. Now that the top eyeliner is done, we're going to move on to the glitter. And the glitters that I'm going to be using are the Collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner. And the first shade that I'm going to be using is Funk number no. 3. And it's a pale gold, and I'm just going to apply that onto the first half of the lid. On some parts of the eye, there seems to be a warm glitter, so in between the transition between the purple and the gold, I'm just applying a coppery shade. And this shade is called Retro Chic. I love these glitter liners. Now I'm taking LA Splash Splash Proof Sealer Eyeshadow uh, Sealer in Base. I'm just going to apply that onto the outer corner where the purple is. And then I'm going to be applying this Claire's Glitter over the top, just with the cotton bud. I'm going to clean the liner up with the L'Oreal liner. And I'm going back in with my concealer to define that wing. And bring it down. Apply Sahara Treasure eyeshadow right into the inner corner of the eye. And do the bottom liner. You first want to extend that top liner downwards. 
creating that Egyptian feel and create a double inner corner liner look and then line the lower lash line. Do not apply liquid liner onto your waterline, it will hurt a lot. Make sure you taper out the edges so it looks sharp. Now, the right eye looks a little bit different from the left eye as it's got more curvy lines on it, making it look more Egyptian. So I'm just gonna do that. So it's a line tapering downwards on the center of the eye and do a mini spiral next to that. Now I'm just applying Miss Manga Mascara to my lashes. This is from L'Oreal as well. And Katie had really natural lashes on, so I'm applying iMemo's lashes in NTR 07. And these are actually brown and wispy, so they look super natural and they're so pretty. And it's not going to be overwhelming the rest of the look, because this look is pretty intense anyway. And that's the eyes done! Now moving on to the face, I'm applying MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC30 all over my face. I just realized that this is not my shade of foundation right now because I faked tanned. Whatever, I'm just going to darken it with bronzer. Oh, and big news, guys. I am going to be part of the Skins YouTube channel. I'm going to be like one of the hosts, presenter, faces of the Skins YouTube channel. And Skins used to be a UK teen-based drama. And it's over now, but they're going to be continuing on the YouTube channel and doing a lot of cool stuff there. And what I'm going to be doing is talking about teen issues, being gay, going to uni, opening up. And I'm going to be translating that onto an avant-garde artsy makeup look. And the first video is already up. Please show some support. Subscribe to the Skins YouTube channel if you want to. I'm going to be there every Friday um, for a new Skin Slap video. And, yeah, I'm so excited about it. Woo! But I did really work hard on it, so I hope you like it. I'm just applying a little bit of concealer now onto my under eyes. And this is the Sun Sun Concealer Age Defense in number three. I'm going to be bronzing up my skin using Vivo Baked Bronze in bronze. I'm going to be contouring with La Masque Disobey just into the cheekbones. And for blush, I'm applying She Will Blush in Sexy Bright and I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush. I use just this for bronzer, blusher and contour, darling. And for the lips, I'm applying MAC Satin Lipstick in Rebel, which is one of my faves. Now I'm just going to be plopping on a black wig from eBay. And yeah, the wig's a little bit different, but this is the final look. I hope you like it. I will be leaving a link to the Skins video down below, and I will be also leaving a link for the Katy Perry Dark Horse music video, which I love. And anyway, this has been Mark, the Prince of Vanity. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please comment down below tell me what you think of the song, the music video, and my tutorial, and my take on the look as well, and subscribe. Please! What I meant to say is, subscribe, goddammit. <gasps> Bye!